guys, welcome back to some more American Truck Simulator. I am Moose78, and this is my ATS Let's Play series, Stories from the Road. I upload this every Tuesday and Thursday. If you need to get caught up on any of the episodes, links for the playlist are in the video description, so be sure to check that out. Also have uh, links to other playlists, some ATS playlists, so check those out. As well as my No Scope Gaming Glasses affiliate link. Lots of good information down there, so check all that out. We are finishing up our run down to Camp Verde today. Let's see what we got there. Packaged food down to Walbert. And we got too much farther to go. Thought I was going to blow my exit there for a second. That wouldn't have been a bad way to start the trip. That would have been bad. Last episode, it got a little bit hairy when we were in Vegas, trying to find a place to park and rest. Wasted a lot of time doing that. So we're going to have a lot better episode today. The man won't keep us down. Or something like that, I guess. Hope everyone's doing very well today, by the way. Almost the weekend, so good, good, good. We'll get this delivered and we'll get something else picked up hopefully and try to get back out on the interstate. This trip I know we've been doing quite a bit of two lane driving. Kind of a rolling stop there. Nothing coming. We're out here in the middle of nowhere, so no worries. That's pretty safe. I think it is cool though that the AI can pass you and whatnot on the two lanes. I think more than anything it ends up being comical because it seems like at least for me about half the time they end up not passing you and they fall right back in behind you because they about head on someone else or they make a right hand or left hand turn abruptly so. See Camp Verde popping up there on the mini, so we're making decent time. Doing good on fuel, so we don't need to worry about stopping there. Anything like that.
I gave you the lights to go, dude. You can go ahead and go. Here we are. That is one of the more annoying things in the game. Is for whatever reason, the AI just comes to a comes to a dead stop when your turn signal's on. It's always been like that with the four ways, but it seems like it's like that now with even the turn signals. Oh boy. You know what? I just, these Walberts are just a pain. Late, yeah, I kind of figured it was late. We didn't make, didn't make that good a time on that one. Let's see what we got. Check the external contract, see if there's anything worth doing there. down to Yuma. That might not be too bad. That might not be too terribly bad. And we'll keep looking though. Going all the way up to Bakersfield, maybe. Fresno, maybe. Check the freight market. So the only thing with that is I don't know, because there was a version of it that I had to edit to So it'll attach correctly to the W900, and I'm not sure which one that is. It's on this page of stuff. It looks like we're just going to grab something from the external market. The contracts. And that's just going over to Ehrenberg. Hmm... Hmm. 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 I'm not. It's pretty. Pretty undecisive right now. I will grab that one. Over at Sell Goods, run it down to Rail Export down in Yuma. That should do good. That shouldn't do too bad for us at all. And hopefully one thing they adjust in the rescale is I don't mind there being, you know, some tight places to deliver to. But it seems like a lot of them, more, more so than, you know, most of them are pretty tight. And if I had a day cab with a shorter trailer, you know, that wouldn't be too bad to deliver to a place like this. But when you... You've got a full-size truck and a 53-foot trailer. Gets gets a little tricky. You know, not that it can't be done. I just didn't want to do it there because I killed so much time the last episode driving around in Vegas trying to find a place to park and rest. I don't want to kill a bunch of time this episode trying to find a place or trying to get that thing parked. So...
stop in here and sell goods, get our trailer. Where is it at? Okay, it's all the way down the end. See, typically they're right about there. That first or second bay. I have to back up a little bit and pull forward, straighten it up, and moving on over just a little bit. Like so. I don't know, but I love the fact that I can stick my head out the window now and see see how I'm backing up. Pretty spot on over there. Trailer brakes seem to be in good order. So we'll get out here and head on down to Yuma. So we pulled this trailer several times before. Let's take a quick look and see what it looks like. I don't know why it does, but it seems like it's with that uh, weather mod that it just kind of gets real dark on its own. So I got to pop in and out of interior, exterior view and all that. Get everything back in good working order. So we'll roll on through and hit the next stop sign up here and Get out on the interstate and get after it. So I think after I deliver this, I'm going to try to get something running up into far northern California. to where we can get back on the interstate and have a nice long haul without uh, too many interruptions. I just kind of keep it, try to uh, keep it fresh, kind of mix it up a little bit. I think the last couple runs have kind of done that. You know, we had quite a bit of two-lane driving. And it was kind of a long haul, so nice little change of pace from what we had been doing.
we're just going to follow that up with a quick run down to Yuma. There's nothing coming back there. Clear to get over. I just love going over this part of the interstate. Pretty cool. And it looks like we're limited to 65 on this contract as well. To the last few contracts so we've been limited to right at 65 so it's not too bad I guess keeps me out of trouble back on the two lanes Should be good on rest, so hopefully this guy doesn't start yawning after we get past the rest stop there. Drop it down at 7 low, get some RPMs as we go through the curves and everything here. Looks like we're we'll getting back in on the highway here in a second. Looks like fuel mileage is starting to come up a little bit, so that's good. We dropped all the way down to 6.3. So far, so good. Nice, good, smooth run. I've not done anything too crazy this episode. AI is behaving, so we'll take it. You can start to see Yuma pop up on the mini map. So 
so we'll get down to Yuma, get this delivered, and we'll at least get a load picked out. Probably won't start one, but at least get one picked out and be ready to go. Looks like we should have an exit coming up here pretty soon. approach. Skip a gear there and just drop it in six high. Not too bad. Stop doing that, that would be greatly appreciated. All that's gonna happen is about the time I go to start backing up, get this thing delivered, he's gonna start dozing off, the screen's gonna black out, and chaos will ensue. Second there, Chief. Some crazy navigating there. All right. Where? Play it safe. Give it a shot. We will give it a shot. And they want it right there. That might not be all too bad. 
And there we go. Knew it. As soon as I got ready to start backing this thing up and getting it parked, the driver's going to start dozing off on me. Should be enough of a start for me there, I guess. Might not be too gosh awful bad. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Am I hitting that other trailer? Yep. Yes, sir. This just ain't going well at all. Am I going to miss that, or am I going to... Swinging around just a little bit more. Hopefully I can pull up just enough now. Yeah, there's no way I could have done this in the interior view. Still working at it, still trying to get a little bit better at uh, the old backing up, so baby steps. I'll 
I'll take it. Not the best job in the world, but I will take it. And excellent. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stories on the Road. If you liked today's video, please give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch and helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But until the next one, guys, take care, and we'll be seeing you.